Thank you for joining us on a special edition of WVP Radio. You're listening to Living Light with Michael Edward. For downloads of this broadcast, please go to worldvisionportal.org or for the radio broadcast, go to blogtalkradio.com slash WVP. And hopefully you're catching this on video at YouTube, youtube.com slash WVP Radio. We'd like to discuss on this special broadcast something very important, not only to the residents that live along the Gulf Coast at the Gulf of Mexico, but to everyone in the world as we feel this affects everyone. Currently, it mostly affects those in the Gulf of Mexico living along the coast as I do. But we know if this isn't handled properly, it will affect everyone very quickly. And we need to let you know what the truth is. That's what this broadcast is all about. So thank you again for joining us in this special edition of WVP Radio. The Gulf Blue Plague. You know, it's not wise to fool Mother Nature. Those who think they can get away with it will abruptly learn that payback can be more than they bargain for. That's because nature will always retaliate in subtle retorts that shake the very foundations of this earth as well as life itself. Playing the role of creator is a very dangerous game. As part of their new logo and corporate image campaign, British Petroleum wants the public to think of them as their new slogan says, Beyond Petroleum. BP is far more than a simple oil company. What is revealed in this broadcast regarding BP and their Beyond Petroleum activities, both prior to and including their Gulf of Mexico catastrophe, will create a picture for the listener one pixel dot at a time. Once the person who hears everything presented here connects all the dots of this picture, it will be more than obvious that BP has tried to fool Mother Nature and she's retaliating with a vengeance that is affecting the entire world. This is a perilous game that has now gotten out of control. What began in the Gulf of Mexico as early as February 2010 has now escalated into a man-made, synthetic, biological nightmare of unknown proportions. Let's address synthetic genomics. On June 13, 2007, BP made a long-term research and development deal and an undisclosed equity investment into a company named Synthetic Genomics Incorporated based in Rockville, Maryland. Synthetic Genomics was co-founded by Dr. J. Craig Venter with the purpose of commercializing genomic-driven technologies. Genomics is the scientific study of the entire DNA sequence of an organism's genome. A genome is all the genetic information in the chromosomes of an organism, including its genes and DNA sequences. Now the BP Synthetic Genomics Alliance has recovered the DNA from subsurface hydrocarbon substrates. What that means is biological organisms in crude oil. And they've applied that recovered DNA through sequencing methods. What this means is that they took the DNA from underground crude oil reservoir microbial cells such as bacteria or viruses and culture them in a lab to identify, isolate, 
and interpret their chemical and genetic properties. Additional sequencing methods beyond the initial identity and isolation stages were also carried out. Now a central part of the deal between BP and synthetic genomics was to create biological transfer processes for crude oil that would leave, lead to improved recovery rates. Their goal was to develop new microbes with lab-created genomes that would improve the flow of gas and oil from out of a oil reservoir. Now for an oil producer like BP, more oil and gas being recovered from a source means more profits. And in fact, many wells and many oil reservoirs for crude oil only produce about 50% because of the problems in getting it out of the wellhead. So this process of increasing the flow of oil or the improved recovery rate is known as microbial enhanced oil recovery or MEOR. Now MEOR is simply the use of microorganisms such as bacteria or viruses or any kind of microorganism to retrieve additional petroleum production from out of an oil reservoir. Microorganisms are introduced or injected into oil wells to produce byproducts which help propel the oil out of the well. Now because these processes help to mobilize the oil and assist with the oil flow, they allow a greater amount to be recovered from the well. MEOR is a direct application of biotechnology. It uses biological materials such as bacteria, microorganisms, and the products of their metabolism to assist the movement of oil out of a well. Other applications include genetic engineering techniques and recombinant DNA technology. And they're used to develop new strains of bacteria with improved oil recovery traits. The microorganisms can be applied to an entire oil reservoir where they grow between the oil and the well's rock surface to enhance oil recovery in these ways. The first way is biosurficant production. Microorganisms produce slippery substances called surficants as they break down the oil. Because they're naturally produced by biological microorganisms, they're referred to as biosurficants. Now these biosurficants act like slippery detergents and they help the oil move more freely away from the rocks and crevices. Second way is the reduction of the oil viscosity. Now oil is a naturally a thick fluid that's very viscous, meaning it doesn't flow very easy. Microorganisms help break down the molecular structure of the crude oil, making it more fluid and easier to recover. Then the third is production of carbon dioxide gas. Now, as a byproduct of metabolism, microorganisms produce carbon dioxide gas. Over time, this gas accumulates and displaces the oil, driving it up and out of the ground. Let's talk about patents pending. The BP Synthetic Genomics Alliance was centered on developing new microorganisms with lab-created genomes, or synthetic DNA, to improve the outflow of gas and oil reservoirs. That alliance was publicly announced on June 13, 2007. As to what prior date the actual agreement was made is a corporate privacy matter. However, less than two weeks before the public announcement, 
on May 31st, 2007, U.S. Patent Application Number 200701-22826 was published claiming exclusive ownership of a set of essential genes in a synthetic, free-living organism that can grow and replicate that's made using those genes. An international patent application at the World Intellectual Property Organization was filed. That number is W O two zero zero seven zero four seven one four eight and was published on April twenty seventh, two thousand seven. And that patent application names more than a hundred countries where they are seeking monopoly patents. The company that applied for the patents was the J. Craig Venter Institute, or JCVI, a nonprofit company founded by genetic scientist J. Craig Venter, who also founded Synthetic Genomics, BP's business alliance partner. Both are based in Rockville, Maryland, and by no coincidence, Synthetic Genomics Incorporated sponsors or pays for fundamental research at JCVI. Since BP has a developmental and research deal as well as an undisclosed amount of equitable stock ownership with Synthetic Genomics, it's obvious who's paying for these synthetic genetic research and results at JCVI.